All right, folks, it is time-ish for a big, big fateful encounter with old Magus. Let's take a look at our party here. Yep, yeah, Kronos at the highest level, as you would probably expect by this point. And over warming the bench, we've got Luca and Robo, who are not going to contribute a whole lot here. Even if we did bring them in. I suppose that I could bring Luca in to have more elements of magic that I can use against Magus. But on the other hand, this is probably the most work that Marl is going to see for a good chunk of the game. At least until we hit, like, side quests or other places where we can grind tech points and stuff fairly easily. Let's have a quick look at our equipment. Oh, if I can remember how to press the buttons correctly, that is. Get ourselves a nice look at, there's Chrono with his 14 speed. Yeah, I don't think we have better equipment for any of this stuff. Yeah, 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 it's all good. Well, you gotta remember that the controls on this are a little bit funny compared to what I'm used to, because... Of course, everything is laid out like it would be on a SNES controller, or more to the point, like it would be on the face buttons of a DS. And I'm using a PS4 controller to control this, because, as I've probably made a little bit clear, operating this through any sort of, you know, capturing it off of actual hardware, which would be fun, is a little bit prohibitive at this juncture, because the DS, well, the 3DS anyway, I don't think the DS Lite, which is the only other Nintendo DS that I have, has any sort of video out. However, the new 3DS XL, which is my 3DS option, which I've got on the floor right here, uh, I bet this time you can actually hear me getting a little far away. I, I found out last time that I changed the mode on my Blue Yeti so that way it wasn't, like, directional. It was the, the surround one. So last time you probably were getting a lot of, like, hurricane noise basically coming out of my computer because I had the fans up a little high. Uh, I've been having some issues that have made me a little worried about heat related to it recently. And, of course, I've got my fan over in my actual room that is blowing on me. So you probably had a little bit of that. It's actually a little closer now than usual over the last couple of weeks. Anyway, uh, 3DS, yeah, I've got my new 3DS XL here, and it does not have any sort of video out. It's got a headphone jack, and that's it. So... Uh, running this off of real hardware would be a little bit rough, or it would at least cost a lot of money to get a capture board for it. I'm pretty sure that... I don't know if the guy who used to do that modification is even still in business at this point anymore, or if that's even a thing you can have done, but back then it used to cost several hundred dollars on top of the price of the DS, which, you know, you'd want a replacement for it, but... Yeah, I mean, Nintendo is not exactly going to... Then again, it is a handheld, so... Like, how upsetting can I really be about a handheld with no video output? I have a component out cable for my PSP, but of course we all know that PSP is a bit of an issue. Uh, because of my not having a battery, I, sh I need to do that. I need to find a fucking battery for it at some point, but I keep forgetting... For a lot of reasons, you know, but that's an outlier. At the very least, consoles, you know, you can do the usual uh, capture box stuff. Although, if they if they have any sort of, like, share, fun share video functionality anyway, which I know is a thing on some more modern consoles, uh, maybe not to the extent that, you, that you'd actually want to have a decent quality stream. Uh... <laughs> They certainly don't have that on the Switch, as far as I know. Anyway, um, so yeah. What I'm trying to say is that when I'm pressing B to pull out of menus, it's the X button, which, of course, is a little bit different. That's what you would have for, like, a Japanese layout and circle to, to open things. You know, if this was on Japanese hardware, that would make sense, and... I do own a singular piece of Japanese 
video game related hardware, but A, it is not a PlayStation console, and B, I can't use it right now because I'm waiting for a keyboard to show up. <laughs> I, I don't have any way to input anything with it, and we learned... Okay, so we learned Leap Slash for Frog, right? And then we learned this Lightning Rod spell. Correct, yeah, so it's Lightning 2 and Leap Slash. So yeah, uh, have I ever seen Drawn Together? Uh, not all the way through. I've, I've seen bits and pieces of Drawn Together. And yeah, Buddy's uh, chanting is a little different. I think they changed the original chant because, like, it had, like, actual German words in it. Like, he said Zauber is one of them, and I think they might have been, like... Maybe we shouldn't have real words in it. At least they sort of cut that scene in, like, in a decent way, I feel like. Like, right before Magus shows up. On the other hand, it's always really weird with the, the anime cutscenes, because it's like, hey, you get to watch an event you just saw happen. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I leaned in to go mute, and I... Sorry, I... There was a noise on there that I didn't want any, I didn't want the audience to hear because it was gross. Anyway. Magus! Let's whoop his butt. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, but... You know... It is a little bit odd, I guess. Ah uh, yes, Frog learned how to uh to use the grapple beam. Learned how to pull himself up ledges like Gex. I should play one of those 3D Gex games on this stream because I haven't touched those in a long, long time. Oh, you want to go solo, do you, Chief? Unfortunately, no, it's three on one. Although a solo fight would be hard as fuck right now. <laughs> oh, you learned to play Metroid. Well, that's more than I've done, that's for sure. And yeah, this piece of music absolutely rules, but like, everybody knows this one. Alright, his magic defense is down, and he's gonna open things up with this Hellgeyser move. Which manages to avoid inflicting sap on everybody except for Marl. So, you know... Rip in pieces, Marl. And here's the big gimmick. Whenever we start wailing on him, he's going to cast a barrier spell that is going to change what elements he can be dealt damage by. Nothing else will work properly. Let's check this out. Oh, that's fucking sick, dude! Oh, and he's just gonna barrier change back to light. Okay, buddy. Okay, dude. I should probably remember to have Marl haste people up, but... Yeah, we seem to have upset him a little bit. By the way, fair warning, get used to that spell animation, because we are going to see it a lot throughout the game. Okay, the spell is just called heal. Please don't kill anybody. I don't want to have to pick up the pieces yet. Uh, we're... We're cutting it a little close. Let's haste Frog, because he's going to be a bit of the linchpin here. The David linchpin, if you will. <laughs> this will be Huskies.
All right, let's get ourselves back into the fighting trim. I actually feel really underpowered for this part of the game. But it could just be that it's been a minute since I've played it, so I don't really remember what kind of power level we're supposed to be on. It may just be like, oh, we're not at over 9,000 yet? Ugh. Absorb all but shadow. Oh, that blows. That's, that's not what you want to see. Because remember, we can only get shadow damage from Robo, and if we take him, we are missing out on another elemental choice. And yet, I'm, I've got Marl in the party. It's, it is a little bit silly. You are correct. Uh, I think we can get away with another lightning rod here without everybody dying. Or anybody dying, for that matter, because, I mean, Frog is the only one who's in real danger right now, because he took... Oh, I'm I'm an idiot. I forgot already how that works. Yeah, he's going to get hit by that again. Alright, heal. Uh, we'll just have you use Cure on Frog. See, I already got kind of sidetracked from the fact that he was uh, in Shadow Barrier form. So we've just lengthened the fight a little bit for ourselves by my being a complete tool. A complete dullard, if you will. And I don't know why you wouldn't, because dullard is a fantastic word. Reject action. I don't want to... I don't need to heal Chrono right now. Alright, and here comes the water barrier. And that's what Ice 2 looks like, by the way. That's pretty neat. Okay, so actually casting Cure on Chrono is perfectly acceptable right now. Alright, let's try throwing an Ice Water at... Wait, no. Uh, can we do a... We can do a... Ice Sword, yeah, there we go. That should be good enough damage, and even if he pops, like, a fire barrier or something, everybody should be able to survive this. Shouldn't be an issue. Alright, let's see how Sword Stream does for damage. Ooh, that's good! Nice. And yeah, we're doing a decent chunk to him at a pretty decent pace. He's got 6,666 spells, or spells, life, pardon me. The fuck did I just say that for? Anyway, he's prepping dark matter now. So basically this is kind of a DPS check. It won't kill you if you fail it, but it will hurt like a bastard. Oh, I thought the River Devil was done and implemented, but good to hear about Trogdor being in there. Trogdor. Trogdor. Oh, I haven't seen any Homestar Runner in a minute. Yeah, here we go. Here's some dark matter for us. It looks like the Phantom Zone. Oh, boy. Yeah, that hurts like a Hurts like a bastard, let me tell ya. Let me tell you what, Bobby. I heal everybody up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's kinda that is kinda true. That's a pretty big part of it. And the Trogdor comes at the night! <laughs> Chrono just countered him going into his stance. That's fucking hilarious. Unless he's just burning at them instead. Nice. Uh, I want to see how ice water does. No, I'd better not do that. Let's drop a heal and... What an ice sword. 
I see his cannon. Nice. And there we go. Everybody gaining some levels? Yeah! Yeah, see, in the, in the original, uh, in the, the SNES translation, he sort of implies that the Masamune has been modified in some way. You fools! Yeah, unfortunately, are you surprised that not everybody has full information on this? Vegas, how mad can you be that we are not informed about this bullshit? Come on. You had not interfered. Eh, don't worry, dude. You couldn't have whooped his ass anyway. So I think the original timeline is supposed to imply that, like, right now, Magus would basically just die from attempting to fight Lavos. And then all the... You know, everything would be fine. Oh wow, we got sucked into a time portal so hard that the entire timeline resets. We've been meddling. Whoa, wait, what? Marl. Oh, I guess they're pinning down a cannon ship. Ah, yes, Lean's Bell. Lean's Bell, and it makes such beautiful music. Yeah, unfortunately, Chrono, this cat won't fucking work. Oh. I think Chrono suffered some head trauma there, so... Quit trying to wake him up more- Oh, oh, I see what's going on. Sorry, I got distracted because there's... I noticed a fuck ton of dust accumulating on top of something. And that frog. Oh, hey, it's Ayla again. We got kicked way back into the past. And it looks like we had good timing in getting sucked back into the past. <laughs> Please don't eat frog. He's a good party member. <laughs> Can't put more tasty. <laughs> just frog is just like I don't know how to answer that. Hmm. So here we are with no leads once again, but we're in the past. It looks like. Ah, uh, some things are happening to us. Try to find Laruba Village. Find village, fight reptiles together. Oh boy, we're... I see that our backs are up against the wall. Humanity as a whole. Oh. That sounds a little bit nasty. Let's go and check in on the trade hut. Which I think is over here, right? Yeah, the, the healing place is down below. I forget how things work. Alright, what do you got, dude? Do you have upgraded equipment yet? Yes, you do! The Dreamstone Gun. For Luca, who I guess will probably get a little bit of work in here. Stone bow. There's an upgrade for Marl. You know, depending on if we decide to use her or not. 
Feather, the magma hand. Oh boy, I don't think Robo should equip that for too long. He may not be able to take it too much. For the Primeval Blade, this is an interesting one. That's uh, a weapon for Chrono. We will make a decision on that in a moment because power level wise, that's a little bit. Uh... Wait a second, a Ruby Vest, is that not what we already have? Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, so it's still a Ruby Vest. Oh wow, that, that attack strength buff is actually quite significant. Uh, yeah, it goes from 43 to 70 strength. However, we do lose our plus two speed, which is quite unfortunate, but I think we'll be able to live with that. We'll be able to live with the stigma. Does this guy have better helmets? Or are we actually good to go for now? Trade for stone helm. Yeah. Butt out, friendo. I don't need them. Alright, at this point... Yeah, let's go ahead and top off all of our usable items. Just because, honestly, we're kind of up to our noses in cash here. And sure, let's empty the inventory a little bit. Because I still got a bunch of weird shit in here that I really don't need. And I need for those golden suits. Ruby vests. Yeah, I think we're good there. All right. Well, let's go ahead and investigate this burned area to the north, huh? Oh, I can see where it is. The Laruba ruins. Oh, yikes. They got to them already. Reptites took Kino. Oh, they're trying to kill off all of humanity now. I I don't know about that, my dude. Are you sure? Yikes. Need Dactyl. Need a, need a Pterodactyl. We need to fly. Wow, we're, we're going all the way in. We're just skipping over everything. do buddy anything back here so I think this area later on gives you access to a way to change your characters names which is a thing that we will probably not be bothering with but hey it's a thing you can do all right let's change up a party real quick in fact, we are going to substitute everybody here, and we're going to see if we can't learn ourselves a couple new moves. Again, get Luca into the fighting trim. Help out with Robo a little bit too, I guess, would be nice. Oh. Chuck's a rocket, Chrono. That's pretty awesome. I love that counterattack, and I'm glad that both forms of this enemy have it. Alright, so these schist enemies. Uh, save your jokes. Yeah, they, they're not exactly high quality, are they? You hit them once, and it pops the top off of them, allowing them to do an eruption attack, which I think is a counter attack, and it hits everybody, as you would probably come to expect from it being a little miniature volcanic eruption. 
I would assume they're also fireproof, or at least fire resistant in some way. But don't take my word for that one. These dudes, however, are probably a little, hopefully a little less fire resistant. Yeah, okay, we can at least hit him for more than we can with bullets, which is kind of strange, but I digress. Honestly, I think being in a position where you can shoot a dinosaur at all is kind of strange, but eh. We got a mid ether. Those are always handy, especially when you're well afield of a save point. All right, let's let's show off Cyclone Sweep. Check that out. It's pretty nice. Let's see how this Napalm does on our rock friend over here. Oh, actually pretty good, okay. So yeah, that Cyclone Sweep move is a little bit hard to hit with, but we were in a perfect position to actually do some good damage with it. And the damage output is pretty decent for the price, but still, you know, using it is kind of... Ah, oh, darn. I think there's a way you can actually get around that fight, but I would advise you not to necessarily take my word for that. Oh boy, yeah, that that didn't do much in terms of uh, any damage there. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, so let's wait for a chance to do another cyclone sweep, because again, if we're if we're posed for it, if we're poised for it, even, let's go ahead and take take a whack with it. I mean, the damage out seems to be pretty solid. Yeah, especially there. We were getting pretty close to a thousand per hit on that. Nice. Closer to 99. Not so bad. Well, believe you me, buddy, you are actually going to get a chance to be useful at some point in the not too distant future. I may just take him through, through the next uh, dungeon. Anyway, uh, Mesozoic Mail, that's a pretty good amount of defense up. We lose our fire resist, but that's okay. I think we can live with that. Hey, they keep setting it up for me, I may as well. Nice cleanup job, Robo. And... Yes. Keep going up that ladder. Quick, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. See, the game has been giving me good layouts for this, so at the very least. Yeah, I'll take the damage whenever we can. All right. We gotta go follow Ayla and get on that dactyl. Hey everybody. We're all okay. Hmm. 
Let's do this. And to be fair, we're gonna need a couple extra pterodactyls to go anywhere. Alright. Luca, you are back to warming the bench, which you're gonna be good at with all the fire moves. And Robo is coming with us. That weird glowing red star in the background. Oh, those are some cute pterodactyls. Don't fall off! It's weird that they got, like, extra arms, because I was convinced the pterodactyls had, like, the, the sort of, like, bat wing thing going on, where that was their... You know, just, just two legs and, like, hands that are basically expanded out into wings. Right? So we tool around the map. Oh, I bet that's it, huh? Yeah, let's just take a look around the rest of the area. And see if we can't get a preview of any content that we're going to be dealing with in the distant future. Or maybe not so distant future. All right, so we can land here and we can take a look at the Sun Shrine. You will find that there is nothing going on here except for a beam of light passing into a cave. And that's a little bit of a flash forward to a thing that we have not gained access to and will not for a good long while. Probably multiple streams, in fact. Land our dactyls here, and we can go into the Tyranno Lair! It's time, everybody. Oh yeah, we get this music. It even overrides the normal fight music for a bit, which is pretty great. Oh, I forgot that I had Elon Berserk. You know what? That's fine. I think we can deal with that. Still out some of that shadow damage. Oh, <laughs> they throw each other. Oh shit! They're most displeased with Chrono. I see. No time to heal. All right. 10 TP, so I guess those purple reptites are worth a fair bit. Anyway, we can't pop open this dino skull yet, which is going to be our main way of opening these gates, is just to go up to them and press the button. So we got to go down in the basement first. Oh, look, we got a couple of people in prison here. Oh, music overrided by the battle music again. That's a shame. Yeah, the purple reptites don't have a ton of HP, only like 350 or something. Right, crack this open. Everybody outsies. Get him to safety. Now let's deal with these chuckleheads. Whose dinner we probably ruined a little bit. Not even a chance for him to act. Nice. <laughs> turnkey. I thought that said turkey for a second. I mean, that's kind of the level of these dudes are at, but, you know. That's not it. All right, let's do that supersonic spin. Yeah, nice damage all around. K 
counter? Yeah! Get out of here. Fuck those guys. Hey, Kino. <laughs> well, smacking the gate enough doesn't work, so... Going from the other side. Ah, I see. You got a contingency plan set up in case things go south. Ah, I can't, uh, can't open the door from the switch. Apparently. Ah, wait up, Chief. We gotta get item from here. It's a mid ether. That may not have been super useful, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, so he's gonna teach us how to pop open the skulls, right? Yep. Alright, so we got a couple of nasty looking fights over here, but if we just hit these switches on the floor... Away they go. And we don't have to deal with that shit if we don't want to. I think that's the way forward, so I think we're gonna go out to the other side here. And we're gonna explore the area. Oh no, I remember this room, never mind. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Deal with these chuckle fucks. How do y'all like some lightning too? They're probably not gonna be big fans of that. Oh, it did less damage than the other one, but it lowered their defense, which is not something that really needed to be done. Gotcha. Nice, we learned Falcon Strike. Or as it was known in the original Falcon Hit. And we're going to see that that is an attack that is super good. Whenever we get into a, a fight that lets us demo it properly. Which will probably not be this one. Oh, no, we're getting... No, not quite. That avian rex is not going to be set up nicely, is it? Oh, right, and she's berserk. Uh, removing that would probably help with the situation. So the, the Vulcanite enemies behave very oddly. As you can tell just from that, I believe it's if you counterattack the if you attack them, they counterattack hitting themselves. But if an enemy hits them, which you'll have reptites who will do that sometimes, then they will counterattack and hit your entire party. So, yeah, what a strange enemy, right? I don't know why it's that's a thing either, but here we are. We're gonna equip the Power Scarf on Ayla again, and we're gonna... What are we getting here? Yeah, we're getting this. Alright. Alright. So, let's see what kind of an AoE we can get. Uh, can we line up for everything with Falcon Hit? With the right timing, yes. It's a linear attack, and you can see that its area of effect is huge, and the damage that it deals is similarly intense. You can destroy most encounters most heartily. You can you can obliterate most things with proper use of the Falcon hit. Oh hey, it's these things. Alright, so what if we just cleared the area real quick of all the weaker enemies, leaving just the pterosaur, who's fairly beefy as you would imagine, like this guy has like 1800 HP or something, 
if I recall correctly. Which is quite a bit, but of course, we can massively reduce its defense with a little bit of lightning. And that even did pretty good damage by itself. Okay, yeah, I think they have a lot less than I thought, but that's still a, a fair chunk. And yes, Robo got Heal Beam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Robo is really in the effectiveness money here. Rapid Fire Fist. 576 tech points to learn. Uh, Ayla, your next one is Charm. Charm is our steal move. You can see that it costs MP. There are a couple of very clutch enemies to steal shit from. I just don't remember what 99% of them are. So, uh, yeah. I'll probably be doing that quite a bit, though. You can see, they just dropped this into the cell that was already open. I know, right? It's how every Final Fantasy game works, alongside a lot of other Square Enix RPGs. And that should clear that fight immediately for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, true. FF1 didn't have it, because, you know. Not as high-tech of a game, really. Runner's MP is hurting a little bit. I should probably see if I'm restoring that some. Yeah, like I said, these mid-ethers are going to come in handy. We're getting a fair chunk of them. I'm not really concerned about ever running them. Right, because 12 was moving on to the to the more ARPG style anyway, wasn't it? So Yeah, because it had that sort of thing and eventually it was uh what's the opposite of refined, I guess, for old uh FF13. Also, I'm so glad I came back here for a high potion. Hooray, something that recovers 500 HP, which is more than... I was gonna say more than our entire party has right now. Not quite to that level. Well, I mean in the sense of, like, a verb. I feel like saying that you would unrefine something is a little bit weird. I don't know if it's technically wrong, but you would probably not say it that way. But yeah, uh, as it was made worse for Final Fantasy XIII. Apologies to the surprisingly non-zero number of people who actually defend that game out there. But I'm sorry, it's not that good. I had one very specific problem with 13 that a lot of people have never really, uh... You know, that I've never really heard brought up in conversation about it before. Which is that I always found it just a pain in the ass to the control properly. That the timings never felt good. Just ever when dealing with that game. Anyway, we've dealt with the entire left side now, so let us do some of this and go over, and by the left side, I mean the right side, because we're going over to the left side, and we've got a couple of these duders here. But yeah, again, easy fight to just obliterate with Falcon Hit. What's our mana cost on that? Is one of us really only using spin cut, right? Because it definitely seems like we're 
we're draining ourselves fairly hard. Let's take a look. Yeah, because Boulder Toss is four. Yeah, it's four and four. We probably shouldn't abuse it too hard because, you know, give everybody else a chance to participate, right? We got a whole party full of cool stuff going on. Especially once we level Robo up more, I guess, but... You know, there's more to this game than this one move. Unfortunately, this one move is just so good. Here, here's a really easy fight for us to just deal with with regular attacks. Because I almost call them right clicks because of reasons. Even in games where that's not like an attacking move, uh, an attack button, if you have a, a basic attack and then you have like skills and stuff that are more important, I just call your regular attack right clicks for some reason. So, like, in 14, the auto attack, I just tend to call a right click. I keep almost doing that in PSO2 also, which is really funny because in PSO2, the right mouse button is usually going to be bound to a completely different move. Let's take a look at that helmet we got here, the Triceratopper. Oh, it's only plus three defense, but you know what? That is a little extra, so, okay. The game just really doesn't want to give us nice hats, I see. Oh, hey, we're at the exit. Well, I don't want to be out of this room just yet. All right. So we might get a chance to see this happen, depending on if we just kill everything in one shot or not first. Yeah, we may never be able to see that special behavior of the the Volcanites and the Purple Reptites. Because I'm just killing them too damn hard. Right, so how do we get at that? Gotta find another, like, warp point here. I swear it's the thing in the game, folks. This out over here. I may have to just pull up a map and look at that. Because off the top of my head, I don't know how to get to these chests. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go look for a map for this room real quick. Because I don't remember how to deal with this. In fact, I wonder if I ever did. But surely, this game is old enough that it would be on game FAQs, right? If anywhere is going to have a fucking map for this, it'll be here, right? There it is, Tyranno Lair Warp Room Map. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Uh, top right is a Mesomail, bottom is a Revive. I may not even need to bother with that. Let's look for the here. Okay. All right. So I'm not looking at chat for a second while I, I do this. Um. Oh no, we're we're literally right next to the revive. I. I'm an idiot because I got really disoriented. We were actually. <laughs> Isn't that great? I just looked up a map for something that I had just solved. I am not clever. All right. Um, who gets the armor? Who's the least durable out of our party? Um, actually, who's Robo? There we go. Let's just make Robo into an overpowered-ass tank. There we go. All right. Out we go. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, get this to happen here. 
Yeah, see, it's not even a counter behavior. It's just a regular attack that they do. They'll just slap that thing in the butt and it'll spew chunks everywhere. <laughs> nice. I actually like that. It's just a visual. And that's also just making me think Trogdor, but with two beefy arms on one side. So it's like... Oh god, what am I trying to say here? Uh, shit. No! My ability to use words is thrown away from me. Um... Basically, again, like like half Machamp Dragon. There we go. That's what I'm thinking. If you put the two beef arms on the one side, of course, it, that's not quite the same, but... You know what I'm saying. You get the idea. And hopefully it's as funny to you as it is to me, which... Admittedly... If I wasn't on stream, I'd probably be cackling quite loudly. Oop, we just ejected a couple of monsters in here. You don't pay for normal. I'd say you don't pay at all, but you actually do, so never mind. Alright, we had to we had to beat up the fat dinosaur here real quick. I don't think you've seen this before, Tav. How is it going, by the way? Uh <laughs> Just, you go on a dive and you say, you don't pay for my sub to the guy who's telling you, hey, yeah, you should probably pay a little bit more attention to that pressure, and then you die horribly. Wait, what? Uh, I'm sorry, I was telling a really bad joke. Although, again, if you're in here and you're not here for the bad jokes, like, what's the point? You know? Yeah, you know. You know. If you know, you know. Oh, hey, what's up, Nisbel? Oh, uh, you're just gonna let us go through? No, we're gonna have to have a fight. So first things first, let's heal. And... Save... The loadout I want to use right now. Actually, yeah, I'll use this. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna have some frog action pretty soon. Uh, after we beat this area, there's gonna be frog is gonna go back in the party because he's really good. I think I was flexible muscles looking all intimidating for. <laughs> And now, we handle dinosaur, this dinosaur, the way we do any other dinosaur, with electrocution and fists. Shock the dinosaur, and punch. However, you can see that this fight is a little bit different. Because simply it's skeleton poorly. <laughs> oh, you saw that too, did you? Everybody's been reposting that lately because it came up again on Twitter. Oh, Oh god, sorry. I... <laughs> I had my... I had my mic headband... Uh, mic headband? I had my headphone headband, pardon me, in front of my face there, because I... I was uh, getting my hair out of my face. So it's like, hey, let me just lower the mic... Uh, I did it again. Let me just lower my headphones down and just... Any art? <laughs> Nisville's defense has gone way up. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to spongify this boss a little bit here. Oh, rude. I don't know what that was, but it... Rude. I know what that is! That fucking sucks is what that is! All 
Alright, so... Uh, a bit of a... bit of lag there, that's weird. Um, did my... did my controller just disconnect? Guys, I think my controller just disconnected. Alright, so, uh, give me a second, because... I gotta pause this real quick while I fix my controller issue here. Um... It's in hotkeys, okay, so... Uh, technology is really good, isn't it? This might be a bit of an issue. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit the stop recording button for a second here. <laughs> 